Hi, my name is George Hatch, Senior Technical Specialist with Autodesk. We're here in Buda, Texas at Syntex Materials to talk about how the 3DR Solo combined with the 3DR Site Scan application is going to help you capture existing conditions on this site and then show you how simple and easy it is to take that information from the Site Scan app into Autodesk technology like Civil 3D and InfraWorks 360 to calculate volumes and analyze your site. The automated flight controls on the site scan application really make it easy for anyone to learn how to fly the 3DR Solo. The real value in the field is that it's super easy to set up, fast deployment and really effective data capture of conditions that exist on your site. Flying the Solo really can't be any easier. Uh, simply using the site scan app, access one of three different modes, either scan, survey, or inspect. In survey mode, you'll simply draw a boundary around the area that you'd like to fly. The site scan app will automatically create a flight plan around the area that you selected. From there, with one swipe to start your motors and another to take off, the Solo will take care of the rest. For this specific site, we can use the data inside of Civil 3D to help calculate volumes of our stockpiles, create contour maps, create elevation data, and track the movement of materials either across the site or off the site. Today, customers that have sites similar to this need to calculate the volume of materials on a routine basis. This usually involves shutting down the site to regular operations, as well as paying the survey crews to either scan or survey the full site. That survey can take hours, if not days, and cost the company money as well as time in production, while also exposing those crews to risk while climbing up and down those steep piles with expensive equipment. This is only to have those crews return to the office and process their data. With the Solo and Site Scan application, 3DR has taken that process and condensed it into minutes. The Solo mission can be completely planned and executed from the Site Scan app. The operator can keep out of the way of site operations while staying off the steep piles and minimizing risk. When the Solo mission is done, you can process the data with the Site Scan app while you're on site. And once the service has completed your project, you can download the data and review directly in Autodesk Recap 360. The best thing about the app and its photo process is that it's geotagging this data so that it is automatically scaled in reference to its location on the Earth. You can now use that geo-reference data in any Autodesk application, including Civil 3D, InfraWorks, and Revit. So on a site like this, many times we want to be able to build a model in context of our surroundings. With InfraWorks, we can do that at a city or county-wide scale. However, often it's difficult to find really detailed information about your site. So using the power of InfraWorks for large citywide models and enhancing it with the accurate geo-reference data that we're pulling from the site scan app and solo mission, we can better reflect existing conditions as they are in our site to help communicate our potential building, infrastructure, or site development project. Over the years, as a senior technical specialist here at Autodesk, I've worked with a lot of different customers that struggle with getting existing conditions of a site into their design applications. It usually takes hours, if not days, of very complex field operations. The Solo, combined with the Site Scan application, is going to streamline that process, help customers more effectively, efficiently, and more rapidly develop existing conditions for their sites. Because the data is geo-referenced, it's easily brought into all of our Autodesk applications seamlessly as a full integrated solution.